Aggregate tables optimize query performance by reducing the amount of data that needs to be processed. This is achieved by storing summarized data at higher levels, which diminishes the table size and boosts query performance. I'm currently looking at a data model that contains a fact table at transaction level. In the same data model, we have two additional tables, one containing transactions aggregated to merchant and year levels, and the other containing a customer transaction table aggregated to the customer card number and the year. Aggregate tables in Pyramid optimize query performance by dynamically mapping the larger fact table to the relevant columns in the already materialized aggregate tables. This means that Pyramid will intelligently choose what table to query based on the visual the user creates in Discover. We will start by marking these two tables as aggregate tables by right-clicking and setting them as an aggregate table. On the left, we will see a heading pop-up titled Aggregate Tables, which we will click on. And now we can choose how to map the columns from the aggregate table. We can see that Amount will connect to the Fact Table under Amount. Count will connect to the Fact Table under Count. Merchant will connect to Merchant from the Merchant Table. And Year will connect to the Year column from our Date Table and we will do the same for our customer aggregate table. The great thing about this is that the user doesn't have to worry about querying the aggregate table or the transaction table based on their situation because Pyramid is handling this in the background. Now that we have mapped our columns, we can run our data model, which will take us into a discover object. We will start by selecting the amount and transaction count from our fact table at the bottom. Next, we will choose the CC number, which is the column that we mapped our customer aggregate table to. And then we will go to the bottom right to look at our diagnostics. We can see that it only took nine milliseconds to process this query in the database. If we look at the query text, we can see that it's created the SQL query from the customer aggregate table. If we close this and remove the customer CC number and go to our fact table and select the CC number, which has not been mapped to the customer aggregate table, we can then look at our query time again. We can see that this took 90 milliseconds to process, even though it's the exact same data. If we look at the query text, we can see that it's processed this data from the granular fact table. That's why it took a lot longer, because it's doing the aggregations on the fly. Based on the columns and measures the user selects, Pyramid will dynamically change the query to either query the aggregate table or the more granular transaction table depending on the situation.